rain has ended, but rivers and creeks are still rising in southwestern Manitoba. 41 communities in Manitoba have declared states of emergency. That's up from 34 at this time yesterday. One of those regions is the city of Brandon, which is expecting to see the Assiniboine River significantly rise in the coming days. About 500 Manitobans have been forced from their homes. In the RM of Wallace, which includes the town of Verdon, about 60 homes have been evacuated, and residents and 40 more have been told to be on standby. Provincial officials say 17 rivers and streams in the province are at historic levels, while 78 provincial roads, hundreds of municipal roads and dozens of bridges are closed due to flooding. Winnipeg police continue to investigate a double stabbing in downtown Winnipeg on Canada Day. Two men were stabbed near Main and Broadway just after 10 Tuesday night. They were both rushed to hospital in critical condition, where one since died of his injuries. Police say they had officers nearby for Canada Day patrols that saw the confrontation, but the incident happened so quickly they couldn't intervene in time. I know that in this uh in this case, there were officers assigned just down the street and initially saw the altercation begin. And by the time they got there, it had already ended and the suspects had fled. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Meanwhile, a 35-year-old man is behind bars after a woman was shot and killed in downtown Winnipeg on Canada Day. Police say the man was handling a 9mm handgun that he legally owned at a residence on Donald around 3 a.m. when 28-year-old Michelle Stobie grabbed his arm and the gun went off. 35-year-old John Cameron has been charged with causing death. Today is the day zoo goers have been looking forward to for a very long time. The official grand opening of Journey to Churchill. The exhibit's been under construction for a couple of years now, but today people will get to see the exhibit for the very first time when the doors open at noon. The Assiniboine Park Zoo is promising a highly immersive experience in what they're calling the world's premier northern species exhibit. This is so different than the zoo we've known uh, growing up here and I just can't wait to see how surprised people are by the majesty of it, the really uh, important interpretive message that has been built throughout it that talks about conservation, that talks about life in the north, that really hopefully inspires all of us to be ambassadors for wildlife of the north and, and find ways that we can contribute to saving their habitat. The new exhibit will bring visitors from the boreal forests to the tundra, the town of Churchill and the Hudson Bay coast. Visitors will also see animals including snowy owls, caribou, muskox, arctic fox and of course polar bears. The zoo has been closed since June 23rd to get ready for the opening. The Festival de Voyageur and the Provence Boulevard Biz are bringing music back to Provence Boulevard. They launched their second annual summer concert series called Music Wednesday at the Sculpture Garden yesterday. Sierra Noble was the first act to entertain the crowd with other performers like Del Barber, Matt Epp and Rihanna scheduled for the coming weeks. These kinds of summer series work well downtown so we're bringing uh, that same energy uh, to St. Boniface. It's a little more quiet down here and uh, there's more grass so it's, uh, it's another option for people and uh, we're, we're, we're opening up our doors to everyone. Each concert kicks off at 12 noon with food service beginning a half hour before that. The free summer concert series runs every Wednesday until August 27th. More than 2,000 people took in last year's performances. That's the first look at what's making news at 6 o'clock. More local news at 6.30. Now we'll check back in with Jenna.